everybody. So today I'm going to try another one from Drecker Brewing. This is Ice Ice Party uh, Fruit Punch version. Uh, slushy style sour is what is on it. And like most of these party or part, uh, if, if you look at his hat, um, they, they've all got the same like pirate on it, just different colors. So uh, if we go ahead and look at the back of this, uh, gimmicks pineapple, uh, cherry orange, and fruit punch slushy is what it says. This one comes in at, oh, where is it at? Um, I actually don't see an ABV on here. Hmm, that's weird. Okay, I'm just gonna look it up on Untapped. Uh, 6.8% ABV. I did pay five dollars and ninety-nine cents for this at Megabev. So let's go ahead and get it open. Get it into a glass. I think some of the other uh, variants of this, I have liked all of them pretty much. Um, I did pick this one up the other week, and I actually picked it up because of the. Oh, what is it? Steel Reserve, that cherry slushy. If you haven't, uh, you can go back through because I, I won't, I'll, I'll try and remember to link a card up here right now. Um, but if not, go back and look through my videos. It's there. I really like that. I, I want to say that was, is that 14%? Something like that. But yeah, I figured this would be a good one. And it was a newer one because I don't think there's a date on here. Oh, there is. Canned on 315.24. So almost three months old from the when I'm reviewing it right now. Uh, no head, lots of bubbles coming up. I would say like a strawberry color. Not like a fruit punch. Eh, okay, oh, let's go fruit punch. If you mix pineapple and fruit punch, sure. But like I was showing before I took it away, um, yeah, it is very hazy, lots of stuff in there. But like I said, uh, from this, there's it doesn't say if it's puree or what it is, but pineapple and the cherry and the orange. So I'm guessing that's fruit that they're like mixing up or smashing, then putting putting it in there. But it doesn't say like a puree or anything, so I don't know. Let's go ahead and smell. I think I get more of that orange, that pineapple, and then I get that like generic fruit punch, wine fruit punch out of this. It's almost like that orange is giving it, giving it that zestiness, almost like an orange skin uh, coming through. I would say the most, like it's going to be more bitter than uh, a fruit punch slushy that you would get. I think that pineapple is adding some of that bitterness, but also a lot more sweetness. It's probably orange too, but it, it just feel, it does smell like pineapple. But I would say that orange bitterness comes through the most, then that pineapple, then that fruit punch. So let's go ahead and taste. It almost tastes like a smoothie, like there's coconut. Um, almost like some of the smooges, uh, the smoothie style seltzers. Um, yeah, it's almost like a coconut. It, I, the, the pineapple is there, but I want to say vanilla, coconut, something like that. I don't think that's in here because usually Drecker would put that on there. But it almost tastes like that. So more like... A, I don't know how I want to say it. I want to say like a vanilla, pineapple, tangy, orange fruit punch. I wouldn't call it a slushy. It's very smooth, uh, but I want to say vanilla. As I keep saying. Oh, here we go. I should change it. I was going to say bitter, that, that orange bitterness, that pineapple bitterness, I think comes out a lot more because usually in a fruit punch, you're not going to get a bitterness. But I could see uh, in all the craft beers I've tasted, reviewed, whatever, 
Um, obviously, that orange is going to give some bitterness, especially if you're using the peel. But pineapple is also going to give some bitterness. That middle part, that almost white part or white part, uh, is going to add that bitterness, and it's there. I like it. I'll go 4.25 out of 5. Um, the, the sour style... I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it there. I would almost put it kind of in a, like a bitter smoothie. If there was a bitter smoothie, this is it. Uh, I, I'm missing that sour base like I see in some of their other ones. I want to say, and it could have been because it was the, I think the green apple one, the... Uh, um, the Halloween one, Bobbin for Apples or something like that that I did. Um, that one I think was more on the sour side, but maybe a green apple, something like that. So yeah, 4.25 out of 5. Let's go ahead and check on tap. They are calling us a fruited sour. One friend has checked it in, 4.25. Uh, 529 people in total have checked it in, 4.15. So I'm right there with whoever had it, which we'll see in a second. Uh, fruity, juicy, sweet, citrusy, bright. Citrusy, I can see. Sweetness, sure. I don't know about juicy. I think I would rather put orange, uh, bitterness, pineapple bitterness, something like that, instead of juicy. Um, Bonnie had it. Uh, sweet apple fruit punch. So, yep, there you go. But yeah, if you're into beers like this or want to try something new, this is definitely one to pick up and try. If you do, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you thought about it. If you enjoyed this review, check out some more Drucker reviews over here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, and I'll see you in the next video.